So let us take the what we call as beliefs. Beliefs, which is important, plays a very important role in our life. What is a belief? What do you call as belief? Something which you tell as true without verifying. We'll take something as true without verifying. And we'll leave base our life on that. And who tells you it's true? Who tells you something is true? Society, as well as, who is I think? You are no, have no thinking. <laughs> All your thinking is based on society thinking, share it out. What you call, get, tell me one thinking of yours is your thinking. There's no both. The only society thinking there you had, that you are only saying my thinking. That's what you accepted your society thinking as my thinking. Accepting something as true without verification is what you call as belief. Is this definition of belief clear to all? What all you have accepted? Because society as such has ambition, fear, anxiety, okay, aspiration as a whole. It's a collective consciousness. All your acceptance of thinking is from the society. I will make a statement very clearly. Not a single thought of yours is yours. You claim it's yours. And you take the thought as real first step. And you take thought as my thought is the second step. The biological child and divine child have gone to the background. So what is important? Your beliefs create your reality. There's no reality out there. Your beliefs create your reality. Your thoughts become your reality. Whatever you think becomes your reality. First belief is I am the name. There's something to believe first. I am the name. Your parents have given the name. Start believing I am the name. Then parents will say my baby. You start thinking you are the body. So your beliefs create your reality. First thing. You have to remember these two. And your thoughts create, become your reality. And how do your thought comes from? Your thoughts come from your belief. Is the relationship clear? Reality is not out there. Reality is what you see, what you project. And how does it happen? Let's see. So beliefs are perspectives. Beliefs are not reality. We decide what things mean based largely on beliefs. We give meaning to things based on our beliefs. Our beliefs are based on our interpretations of past experiences. Our beliefs can be empowering or limiting. So, by and large, everything happening in the universe is neutral. It's not happening because of you. It's not happening for you. They are happening by themselves. Sunrise, sunsets, rains, and some war is there. This is not because of you or for you. But we interpret, we give interpretation to that based on our belief. We give a value to that. 
so depending on what you believe you can you are you can be empowering or limiting yourself so if you see very powerful people so called we see the very powerful people a divine people okay we see their outer shell their external but what we don't know is that the deep inside their belief system is reflected as them so if you want to become somebody don't try to emulate them from outside try to understand what's happening in the belief system the belief is the what gives them power and there are people who are suffering in life so you see suffering is because of that because of that we can give so many reasons but ultimately suffering is because of the deep rooted belief system do not compare with anybody on the external appearance compares with somebody try to understand the belief system correct your belief system and be free so this is the picture of a brain there are two arrows here you can see red arrow and green arrow so they have put a cycle here can you see belief and reality belief creates reality and reality reflects as belief our brain is not showing us what is there in the world our brain is superimposing what is there in the world <laughs> based on our beliefs based on our deep rooted thought processes vasanas and samskaras we don't see anything outside as really as it is and then based on our belief we project on that and then we get we are getting scared or like or dislike and that becomes our reflection so belief in this reality reality in this belief is a cycle are you clear is it clear belief strengthens reality reality strengthens the belief so somebody is going in the night he says a ghost he is scared he starts shouting he is afraid sweating the ghost is not there the ghost is a mental projection it's appearing in the tree now he is afraid of the tree the projection is done on the tree and he is afraid of the ghost which is projected by mind again he is afraid his whole body is shaking so first he had a belief that there's something called ghost somebody has doesn't have belief that ghost the ghost will not appear your belief projected a ghost and ghost projected a fear in you so this way red arrow and green arrow so you can understand this better in our dream in dream whatever is appearing is our projection the red arrow and we are we are we are actually tensed up or joyful or happy or unhappy in the dream our experience green arrow so what happens in dream happens in the waking state also and everything starts from the belief root is the belief we experience our projections of the world view so can we come out of this cycle belief reality relief reality belief so see there two faces one is crying and one is joy happy belief creates the reality reality creates the belief so now many of us we are actually suffering from a given situation or a joyful in a situation our whole attempt is to change the situation outside <laughs> understanding the deep rooted belief within this within us has given the situation outside outside situation is neutral or it is happening so depending on how we perceive that outside situation it creates a stress in us so which is easier to change the outer situation or change the belief which is there inside but all of us will make a lot of effort to change the situation outside <laughs> our focus is on the outside not on the inner belief which is created the situation outside 
So this is what is meant by karma. Karma means what you what is your deep rooted belief and vasana samskaras will appear in your life, and that appearance will create another another impression on you. The cycle will continue. Belief, reality, reality, belief. So to change your experiences, change your beliefs. Your deep rooted belief appears as experience in your life. So there is a elephant you can see here. If you have gone to a uh, kedda or where elephants are raised, a baby elephant is tied with a iron rope. A big thick rope, thick, uh, thick. Uh, what you call chain? Okay, but as the elephant grows, you need just a rope, thin rope to tie. Because baby elephant has done all the effort to get rid of the chain, then it has come to conclusion: I can't get rid. So even after, after growing, the belief has become strong. What is tied to my leg, I cannot remove. Then uh, rope is okay. Chain is required for only baby elephant. so whatever your belief in your life reflects in your life becomes stronger becomes deep rooted and ultimately spiritual journey is to become free from your wrong beliefs ultimately become free from all beliefs is called enlightenment liberation the beliefs can be limiting limiting means limit your ability limit your potential to function in the world empowering beliefs will give more power so there's a feeling that i'm scared people are afraid of feeling that i'm scared of feeling so i don't want to, to attempt they say limiting belief no the failure helps me to learn i can grow by failures then you are not afraid of failures So the moment you are scared of failures, that's a belief. Why I'm scared of failures? What will people tell tell about me? What will people say about me? What society thinks of me? <laughs> no, I can fail. How does it matter? Every failure is learning. That's the important belief. I don't know how to do it. That's why I can't do it. It's limiting. No, I'll put an effort. I'll learn. I'll try to do something. this learning process is there empowering belief i am too old to learn anything i have wisdom of so many years i can apply it and i can learn anything faster <laughs> believe empowering belief i have one of the students my students 96 year old his energy and enthusiasm at 96 years we don't have at young age of 30 <laughs> so old age means i have so much of wisdom i can apply it and learn anything faster no no i am too old to learn what is your what is your belief it is very hard it is very hard until i learn i'll apply it empowering belief i'm not good enough i am divine all that i have to learn is how to recognize divinity in me so like that limiting belief is there empowering belief is there so basically how the belief translates into our emotions our conscious mind is 5% unconscious mind 95% some beliefs are conscious some people believe are unconscious so let us say there is a belief that i have to be right all the time belief is i have to be right okay so then if i am wrong i am stupid the fear i am right then pride i am a failure worthless 
feeling. I am stupid. I am worthless. Worthlessness. So what happens? The belief give rise to thinking process. And those thinking processes give rise right, to various emotions, and their emotions will strengthen our belief, the vice versa. Anybody has a questions on this? Haryom Prabhuji. Haryom Purima. So apart from everything, there is also the gunas that come in, no? Sattva Rajasthumas. Our gunas Correct. also influence. Correct. So, the gunas influence we have overcome by a person born in certain guna. He is born in certain environment, right? Environment, we cannot get out of the environment. Huh. Ultimately, environment influences us. Yes. This whole process is how to become conscious and how, we, how to come out of that. Yes, Prakriti. Right? Prakriti. Prakriti means environment. Huh. Buddha is also part of the environment. Prakriti. Correct. That's it. Mm. So now the question is, are we helpless victims of the environment? Or is there a way to overcome and bring out our divine potential? Yes, yes. Correct. Right? So... Basically, initially, we are all driven by prakriti, nature. Mm. Outside world drives inside. Then gradually realize my inside, inner world drives outside. Then we realize that something is beyond both inner and outer. So like that journey happens, no? from outer to inner to beyond. Yes, Prabhuji, correct. Now I'm trying to bring awareness. How is it, how is it the inner of the outer? Mm. Right. Yes, Any other question? Let us go to contemplation. Anybody questions here in sitting here? If there are no questions, we'll go to a contemplation and meditation. <laughs> 